The bench press consists of two main muscle groups. You have the chest and the triceps. And these two muscles work in unison to produce the outcome of the lift. However, these muscle groups are activated at different stages of the movement. The top portion of the exercise is a tricep emphasis, while the bottom portion of the exercise is a chest emphasis. Now let's take a look at how force is applied by the tricep. You see the direction of the force travels through the shoulder and through the wrist, and that's because it's a jointed system. Then the force applied by the chest is always perpendicular to the humerus bone. So we're looking at the stages of the bench press, and what I'm going to do is fill in the vectors for each muscle in each stage of the lift. Now it's important to note that only the vertical component matters, so the vector for the chest is increasingly vertical and the vector for the triceps is increasingly horizontal, which means it won't be used as efficiently. My question to you is where do you fail during your lift? Do you fail in the lower portion or do you fail in the upper portion? For the vast majority, people will fail at the lower portion of the lift. And to better visualize this, let's make a graph. This is a graph of how much force is being applied by the chest as time elapses. And the same thing goes for the tricep. When we move these graphs together, we see these intersection points, and that's where the movement becomes more chest emphasis and more tricep emphasis. And the vast majority of people will fail right here. People fail when the bar gets a couple inches off their chest in the concentric phase. What you can do is utilize pause reps, and what this does is increase the time under tension on the chest, which in turn leads to a stronger bench press. Dr. Keogh and colleagues did a comparison of different types of resistance training. What they found is that isometric and rest pause training produced higher levels of blood lactate response and they concluded that isometrics may be more useful for hypertrophy training than heavyweight.